A spirit is everywhere. Spirit's the water. Spirit is the land. Spirit is the animals. You know, it's not empty. There's no such thing as an empty earth, empty land. Because the spirits are still there. So that energy is still there, that life. To me, to describe it personally, it's my home. Being welcomed and invited by the First Nations people who lived here for hundreds of years is really important to me. And, and they chose to do that with a smudging ceremony, which gave me the blessing to be here and explore this land. The purpose of this trip is to have been explore Wabakimi Provincial Park. We flew in this backcountry float plane. It was absolutely incredible looking out how vast this train was. It was just never ending lakes and boreal forest. The plane set us down so lightly I didn't even feel the, the water or the landing. It was a pretty wild feeling watching the plane leave and realizing that, you know, we're out here. The canoe is like the vessel to experience and participate in all the activities you can do here. There's incredible camping, there's amazing fishing, we're seeing wildlife all around. My friend Rush Sturgis, who's here doing the filming, is a really good paddler. Both Eric and I have uh, whitewater backgrounds as, as professional kayakers, but it's kind of funny that neither of us have actually ever been in a canoe. And we are on the hunt for brook trout right now. Okay, oh, yep. I was rolling on all that. <laughs> neither one of us had ever really canoed at all. Just to get to be in the wilderness and to travel and to camp is incredible. The dichotomy of Wabakimi is that not only do you have these super authentic remote campsites, you also roll into these really luxury lodges where you're completely taken care of. To me, the thing that I appreciate the most about this place is the culture and the rich history that's here and the completely untouched, the natural. It made the place come alive. <laughs> 